a stone's throw away from the Swilcam Bridge, the R&A building, you know those famous shots that you want to come to Scotland for, is a beautiful Charlton estate. Carl Michael, what a fortunate place to be. You've got the number one new golf course in the world, Dumbarney. King's Barns, which is a delightful round of golf, maybe one of the best in the world. Then, of course, the Swilcan Bridge. You're centrally located. How many miles from downtown St. Andrews? We're about 10 miles from St. Andrews. Uh, Dumbarney, as you said, I mean, we're just a stone's throw away. And we've got King's Barns in that direction, another 10 minutes. So we're like a little triangle right in the epicenter of the of golf. Right. And Crail and right. Levin and Ely and on and, and on and, and Carnoustie's maybe 34 miles away. Yeah, that's just across the other bay. So yeah. we're, we're pretty much smack in the middle, which is uh, great to be a golfer. Yeah, right. And of course, we're speaking of the Charlton Estate. Wonderful Parkland Golf Course. Imagine this, opened in what year? Uh, this is 95. 1995 and who did you have here to open the property well we were very lucky we had your president uh, bush senior who came here uh, just after he left um, his presidency he came over here and the first thing he wanted to do was of course play golf so he popped along to st andrews uh, we were going to have sean connery open it but he had to film at the last minute but fortunately president bush said you know what I'll come and open instead. And uh, we have a lovely picture when he's jumping here on the 18th, I think I've shown you. Yeah, yeah right. Um, Bond. Bond, your last name's Bond. Connery played Bond, didn't he? Am uh, I trying to connect dots that don't exist? No, no, um, it's, uh, it's, it's very similar. My, my father even made a joke with uh, Sean Connery when he met him the first time. He came up and said, Sean, my name is Bond, Baron Bond. <laughs> and he didn't get it at all. But uh, it, it was... Uh, <laughs> Nothing worse he, than a joke gone He thought it was wrong. funny. It was, um, Nothing worse than a joke gone wrong. Yeah, but, uh, but then he became good friends. And, um, and he used to have a house uh, just down in Crail as well. Wonderful. When you think of Scotland, you think of all those wonderful things. The bagpipes, the R&A building, golf. And that's what we're here to talk about with Carl Michael, is the wonderful golf, not just surrounding him, but here at Charlton Estate, you will find just a lovely, delightful, pleasant, as Mark Twain said, golf is a walk spoiled. There's nothing to spoil your walk here at your 18 holes. No, we're very lucky here. And a little bit different from the golf courses around because when you come to Charlton, as you said, it's a parkland course and all the courses around are links so it makes a bit of a change if you're coming here to play golf uh, you play the big big courses and then come here and either play just nine holes because we have two loops of nine that's spreading out from the middle here which often equals 18. correct <laughs> you know what this i didn't even know what to expect when i came here i am absolutely delighted and so will you be when you come to charlton estate this parkland design meanders over the hillside you're greeted by the horses up on the hill. The screech, is that what a pheasant does, screech or squawk? Or? I think it's a squawk, yeah. Yeah, the, there's plenty of nature abounds here. You can see the North Atlantic just over the horizon from us. And again, just down the road, 12, 10 miles, is St. Andrews itself. A delightful parkland course for you to throw in. You know, some people do nine, ten, seven rounds of golf while they're here. Consider Charlton Estate to play, not only to play their fabulous course, but tell them what the future holds in store. Well, it's very exciting. We've uh, we've always had some stone cottages here, which we rented out, but our new development is behind us. Uh, our new eco lodges, which are specifically designed for golfers. So we're having. We see this as a as sort of a base uh, for, for coming uh, to the St. Andrews area. From here, you play a course, one of the big courses in the morning, and you come back and you play just maybe nine holes. And then next year, we'll have our new clubhouse as well. And uh, it's going to be very exciting times here at Charlton. Here's the nice thing. Affordability. 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 I say it three times because that is Charlton Estate. I mean... The prices you charge, I'm amazed you're still in business, sir. These are affordable prices that won't break your bank account, won't break your wallet. You'll be stunningly amazed at the quality of the golf here, the quality of the accommodations. They're five-star accommodations at a great price. Well, we're trying to make them 
compact and as, as you say, as economical as possible. So when you come here, we know that the big courses, they cost a little bit, but uh, we want people to come here and then, right, let's focus on getting onto those big courses and then we don't have to spend too much money, but still comfy, comfy beds and, um, you know, having a good time. Mine has a hot tub, a fireplace outside, a fireplace inside, very comfortable, fits how many people in one of the eco lodges? We, we get up to six people. They have uh, zip-link beds as well, so beforehand you choose if you want them together as a double or separate. And, and you've got to say all the lodges have lovely views out towards the water as well. All of the lodges have lovely view out towards the water as well. So here's the exciting part. If you're saying to yourself because you have a name like Graham or Gorman and you have a Scottish ancestry and you know what your tartan is, why not come to Charlton Estate and have your wedding in the castle? This evening, for example, we're going to have a wonderful... What am I having this evening? Tell me. Well, I think we're going to give you um, some pheasant to start off with, all from the grounds. And then we'll be having fish from down by the sea. I've heard from the cook. I may be wrong, but I think that's what she's, she's fixing. So, so fresh harvest. Yes. No everything. doubt about it. All to go in with the whole eco thinking here at Charlton. Wonderful. Imagine having your wedding here at Charlton Estate, celebrating your Scottish history and heritage in a castle just a stone's throw away from St. Andrews. I know a lot of couples would love to do that. That's true. It's, we have had a few over the years. We're a little bit selective with the weddings, uh, but we've had um, a couple of famous, uh, well, famous Swedes anyway, um, as we have that part of the family. Uh, I'll explain more of the castle, but the family is sort of half Swedish and half Scottish from the Sinclair clan. Well, I'm half Swiss and half Irish. And there we go. From I don't know what clan. <laughs> <laughs> the fun thing here at Charlton Estate, to recap everything on this beautiful, glorious, sunshiny day, is it's a proper right place to come to enjoy an 18-hole Parkland course, to be a stone's throw away from the greatest golf in the world, the home of golf, Old Tom Morris is buried just a, a driver away from yeah, here. Pretty much, yeah. Talk about St. Andrews itself for the folks that have never been there. It's pretty overwhelming when you stand on the Swilcan Bridge for the first time. It's absolutely terrifying. Um, well, I think, I think the first tee is probably the most terrifying there, just because you're in front of the clubhouse, there are always so many people watching, and it's a big open field with the sea on one side, houses on the left built sort of many centuries ago, and you don't have a slice or a hook. Uh, but you're sitting there, you're trembling, and even I, who've played it all my life, I still tremble every time I stand there. So it is something very, very special. So imagine staying at Charlton Estate and you get that round at the old course. Isn't that what you want? Isn't that, as a golfer, an amateur golfer, what we all dream of? Coming to St. Andrews, the birthplace of golf, and having our picture on the Swilcan Bridge to show all our friends, hang on the office wall. It won't matter that you shot a 131, but you'll still have your infamous picture from the Swilcan. Well, nothing can take away that it is the first golf course in the world. Uh, and so St. Andrews is something very, very special and well, quite religious to most people. Yeah, Golfers absolutely anyway. religious first yeah. fact. Well, Charlton Estate and Castle located 10 miles, 12 miles away from St. Andrews proper itself. Do yourself a favor, come visit Carl, come visit the staff. They're gonna give you a big hello in Scottish. They're gonna welcome you into your arms. You're gonna feel like your family when you're here and you're gonna discover a home away from home that is affordable. Carl, anything to say? No, just welcome you here and um, just drop us a line and we'll see you soon.